Good girl. We had used uh, more um, harsher means with either dog. I'm quite sure we would not have had success, particularly with, with this one. That method is positive reinforcement training. Michelle utilized this technique in order to motivate the dogs with things they desire, like food, praise, or toys. In Maggie and Molly's case, this training helped to reinforce good behavior in a non-threatening or aggressive manner. I work closely with Heather, and, and she lets me know if there are dogs that she thinks need some special work. And Maggie and Molly, um, worked with Prince Molly, who uh, uh, fortunately was not here, was just adopted, and she was a little bit um, mouthy at first. She was we'd walk up to her kennel, and she'd jump up, very happy to see you, and wiggle, 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 you couldn't put her leash on, so we had to sort of tone down her exuberance a little bit. Maggie and her sister Molly were brought to the Woods Humane Society when their owner of three years planned to move, but couldn't take them with him. So we did their behavior assessment after their four-day hold. We did see that they were both dog aggressive. Um, Maggie a little bit more so than Molly. Um, so after their uh, original behavior assessment, we put them on Michelle's desk so that she could start working with them. Maggie, it took me almost a couple of weeks to actually get Maggie um, to let me touch her and put a collar on her. She's so shy. She would just, just Back into her Today, Maggie is like a different dog due to the hard work, love, and care of the staff and volunteers at the Woods Humane Society. She was adopted during the making of this video. All the dogs at Woods are, um, you know, they're without home, but they're not without love, they're not without care. They're not care staff, everyone here just, just adores these dogs. 